Hey there, it's Andy again with just a simple little video tutorial for a very simple subject, but I feel some people might not know exactly how to do this. And of course, it's how to install a VPK file. Now, looking around for other tutorials for this, I was dismayed at what I found. Everybody had music playing in the background with text. I figured I'd just give it a more personal touch and explain what I'm doing. Okay, so the VPK is actually the map file. In this case, it's Helm's Deep for Left 4 Dead. A very fun map. So, let's say I go to download it. So I open up Chrome here, and now you can get it from either l4dmaps.com or I believe l4dmods.com has it as well. And for this actual simple map, I have it on the andyvgr.com website on the download section. So if I click on downloads, there it is. As you can see, click here to download the Helms for the Helms Deep Left for Dead map. Now, uh, so I've already got it downloaded, and now if I double click it, boom! It says Helms Deep was successfully installed for game Left for Dead. Now, what does that do exactly when you double click it? Well, it puts it into the directory of your Steam, Steam apps, common Left for Dead, and then another Left for Dead folder inside of there, and then the add-ons. And the only thing it does is it places a copy into there. Now you could also just simply drag and drop it into there, but you don't have to. If you just double click it, it will install. So now if I start my Left 4 Dead game and go to Extras and Add-ons and scroll down here, you'll see that Helm's Deep is checked, which means that it is now a playable map. So let's go ahead and make sure I go to Play Survival and I'm just going to create a junk game here. Go down, choose survival, go to campaign and choose add-on campaign, and there's Helm's Deep. Say select. I'm going to go ahead and make sure to select local server, because the dedicated wouldn't have it. And go ahead and choose my character and start the game. And there you go. I am now running around in Helm's Deep.